So hey guys, welcome to the new video. Today in this video, we are going to see that how can you perform image analysis in Python, or you can say image processing. So firstly, what you have to do is move in your VS Code. Okay, I have already opened this one. Now what you have to do is you have to create a file named as app.py here. Then open your terminal. And here you have to type pip install open cv python as you can see that i have already downloaded this one so let's move further now firstly you will be needing an image for this so open your browser and then what you have to do is just download a random image I will go with this one. Copy image and then come here and paste this one. So, this is our image. Now, what you have to do is you have to create some functions for this. Firstly, we need to import our library. Import CV2. Then, what you have to do is you have to create some functions like def draw rectangle. draw rectangle okay we will be not using this this particular function instead we will be creating our different function and then what you have to do is you have to pass the path here firstly colon and then path that's it now what you have to do is you have to get the image Firstly, you have to read this image. Now, cv2 dot rectangle. You have to pass the dimensions here. Okay, then what you have to do is you can uh, simply go with this. You have drawn a rectangle now on this on this particular image, which is contained in image variable. Now you have to show this image until and another key is pressed or not then what you have to do is if someone uh, presses any key from the keyboard then this will this image tab will be closed okay that's it now go with this one okay here our image will be image.png image.png that's it save this one and run this python app.py you can see that here we have created a rectangle over there on that particular image here its dimension is uh, some like dis uh, disturbed right now but you can take another image so i'm pressing a key and this window gets closed now we will take an other image for uh, better processing so come here and download another image like this one and then go in your folder again and paste it okay so my older image is uh, replaced now i think yeah no actually it's not let me go through it yeah this one this is copy image, image copy dot png. Now what you have to do is you have to create another function. We will create this function for like blurring edges. Blur edges. Blur underscore edges. Here we will also uh, pass this path. And then what you have to do is you have to go through the same procedure. Create a uh, create an image variable. So as we know that the image size was too large. So for resi resizing those images, I have just added this particular function to resize those images in both the functions. Now, what you have to do is, okay, so since we are uh, blurring this image, then what you have to do is, you have to use this Gaussian blur function. And then you have to define this. 
after that you can just show that image okay now let's run this program again you can see that this is the rectangle which we have uh, created there and then uh, the image is resized now and this is the blurred image so yeah guys that's all for this video now let's see you next time